OMG, let's talk. OMG, let's talk. OMG, let's talk. OMG, let's talk. I can't do it. I'm not a cheerleader. <laughs> you gotta. I <laughs> tried. I was like, OM. OM. Is that a G? OM. Is that a G? OMG. G? Can't tell. O? 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 M? Not your hands, it's your whole arms. O? M? M G. The G. Is that a G? Or is it? That looks like a G. Is that? Mirror image. This is H. G? Yeah. G. <laughs> Get out of here. Go. <laughs> this is H. It's sick. <laughs> this H. is H. Go, go. <laughs> Anally and. OMG, let's start. OMG, <laughs> let's start. All right, it's season 10, episode 5, committed in matrimony. The couples that we're going to have to be talking about is Anvil. Anvil? <laughs> Anvil? <laughs> no, Wait, kidding. who? An anvil, like what you do when you blacksmith. I was just fucking around, you know? Like an anvil is what you do when you make your swords on a blacksmith table. That's How is that called. relative? It was just funny. Well, you guys wanted to call her Anil, but her real name is... Uh, Anna Lee. I thought you were going to say Anna Lee. <laughs> but her actual real name is Anna Lee. But her real name is Anna E. Anna E. She's from Peru. She's 26. And the what guy about, that. Yeah, what about the guy? <laughs> Fuck the guy. Anna Lee. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> from Peru. Anna Lee. <laughs> Anna Lee. Well, who she is dating, we're not getting we are the worst. We're not becoming sorry. This guy been, like, dating is so cute. Honestly, he is a sweet guy. I know a sweet soul when I see one. His name is Clayton. I know someone exactly like this in our own personal life. Who, you? No. Oh. Me. <laughs> it starts with an O and ends with an N. Why is he laughing so hard? Do you know who he's talking about? What? You do, O right? and N? Just say the two letters together and it's that's him. Oh. Uh, this is definitely. <laughs> My aunt has a white husband. Hey, hey, you're giving too much information. No, no. We know if a they're guy. watching this podcast. We, we know a guy. He actually does take what care of big guinea pigs right? and everything. And, <laughs> and naked cats. Thinks and everything. This is and he treats oh, them as their kids. This is him for sure. Yes. And am different... I wrong? In a higher level setting, there he's not poor and grew up like has to take care of his mom. Oh no no no! He's his mom and dad more, like, is dead. Successful in this way, but <laughs> hey, Clint, he's but not he... poor. But he's it... definitely poor, Erica. <laughs> he lives in Kentucky I... in a one bedroom no, apartment. This guy is poor, not the one we're talking about. Clayton, Clayton's poor. Clayton's yeah, definitely poor, Erica. <laughs> <Sorry>. Kentucky, <dude. laughs> Poor guy. Kent yeah, exactly. Kentucky, Thank and you, he does not have... A... Poor guy. Poor guy. You said it. You said it. Uh, all right, let's hear his animal monologue. This animal monologue is the best. I try to get every clip that I could to describe how packed his one-bedroom apartment that he has. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it's just, well, yeah, one bedroom apartment, correct? At least it's bigger than uh, Rob's apartment. Tree pigs. <laughs> baby pigs. Baby pig. Baby pig. pig. A pet like a guinea pig, they have a noise, a specific noise. Aw, he's too cute. He, he loves his guinea pigs. Yeah, he doesn't know life. so much about The person them. I'm talking about, we could have this same conversation, and who would give the same answers? <laughs> Every always, single thing. Every emotion that they have. You're okay, baby. Oh. Somebody who is like this, you know, is a sweet soul, no matter what. No? Like somebody who loves animals yes. this much. 
Especially guinea pigs. Especially guinea pigs, yes. yes. He's like, they have such a bad rep. Like, oh, he's like, I think I'm just They're not pigs. considered like pets because they're like pets rodents. or something. They're they're they have rodents. Don't They're pets. You're okay. At least oh. in America. Look at that. It's like, no, I know when they're not. hungry. The sounds. Oh, okay. And then here we go. Here is his other animals that he has. Yes. Are these Chia oh, Mr. Buster. Dude. Are they Chihuahuas, Chihuahuas mixed with pugs? They look, or they're just chunky as hell. It's really fat, huh? <laughs> well, you remember when he goes to the vet and we have the same problem with our, your guys' bio, yes, your biological grandma. mom, your grandma. They feed her fucking animals too much food. Grandma love. Oh, too much treats. Oh, and Buster. Coco. Oh, here's Buster. Oh, here we go. I yes. love this, yes. This is yes. like your guys' is like... Riffies, huh? <laughs> yes, here we go. Let's hear Raph. Your breath stinks. It's Coco's birthday. You don't grow at Coco's birthday. Oh he's my not God. even mad. That was just a growl. Like, he's not even aggressive. He's just Ooh. doing it just to make the sound. It's Buster even... needs his own TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I have... Like, dude, that growl was sure. nothing. No. He's not mad. <laughs> Your breath stinks. <laughs> Why though? I, I don't know. Birthday. You don't. <laughs> like I think that pugs are really weird and unique. Ch chihuahua. But chihuahuas? A next level. Next level. You never know what you're gonna get with a chihuahua. Yeah, Coco oh, no. was so cute and calm, and he all put it down, and then he got Buster. Girl, at Coco's birthday. This is Coco's yeah. birthday. Oh, he's just jealous. I have yeah. one last roommate, and that, that is my mother. Where's Mama? You want to see Mama? Oh, the dogs are so cute. What about Let's this go dog? Go get Grandma. Oh, not a dog. No. <laughs> what about this dog in the closet? Come here. Okay. I couldn't. What? I could not live in that closet. So. Hacked in there. Oh my god. I have Dude, no idea. I'm sure we everyone watching was thinking the same thing. But when you get to meet this mom, my current living is it situation, no, 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 that shit is kind of weird. No, no, but when you get to meet the mom, you understand that when the you... who is the problem? The mom. Mm -hmm. And why is she the problem? A lot of reasons. Exactly. It's Skip. sad. Got a lot. It's sad. It it's makes sad. me almost want to cry right now. Oh, it's sad. Anyways, and she, yeah, what? she's been trying to save money for three years. No, I mean, no, thank no, you for Erica. bringing this up. I had that in quotes. She's three been years to save oh, money. That's my point. She's going to be there for the rest of her life. Oh, hell. She's, no. doing, she's making no strides or movements <laughs> to get the fuck out of this house. What? This is her Kentucky, world. Kentucky, oh, yeah. what do I have? I was like, that one bedroom like, apartment is not even $500. It's like, I got. Saving up for three years, he could have no. She's no, like, I got no, three by no. six feet squared. I got <laughs> yeah. Four I have that here, 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 door. here. I have that. Let's fucking yeah. go. Here, she I'm don't give a fuck. Here. Here. She's here. not upset with the situation. She's that, she likes it, it. She's never leaving. It's sad. Here, no. I have it. I have the clip. It's fucking sad. No, we went to come and look. I opened a door and I said, "Oh, this is my place <laughs> right here. The perfect mom's." Side. Size bedroom. I mean, mom size bedroom. Mom size. What kind of mom size bedroom is that? I said, are you serious? I said, yep. This is me. Dogs. Are She's gonna ruin his life. She she yeah. will be in his life until she forever. Dies. Yes. Nobody I, I, even got for fucking way. three years in Kentucky. That's some bullshit. I thought this was. Hilarious. It was hilarious and sad and unreal on a level that I cannot believe this is fucking happening. But at the same time, always like me. put yourself in Clayton's shoes. Are you gonna be the guy to say no? Clayton, absolutely not. That's no. point. Clayton loves his guinea pigs. That's what I'm saying. He's a top takes them to the vets every six top months. Top tier ninety day, <laughs> if you want to call. He it finally that. got his own place. Put his mama in the walk-in closet, no matter how weird he Takes felt. Takes care of the chihuahuas. 
take care of the guineas. <coughs> Six month regular visits. Yeah, Pro- more than a lot of people do. Pro- I mean, obviously his mom isn't the sponsor for this 90 day excursion. <laughs> so it must be him. him- he well, he's a cyber a fucking language app too. Like cyber what? He... Cyber security analyst. analyst. Not sure how much money that is, but, but it, it must be, be enough. It might be sufficient. It could be for like wants. a really small company, like like a shopping company, like Kohl's or some shit stupid too. Though that's not a small company. You know what I mean, though. Not a company that's gonna pay you like Google. Hey, Tilly's. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> It's cute because too oh, long wait. that they met on a fucking language app. They were like he was tr- actually trying to learn Spanish and she was trying to learn English. Like it wasn't anything weird. Like their love connection seems so fucking wholesome and cute, which is really great. And he proposed to her four days after meeting her in Peru. What? Erica stuck? What? Oh. <laughs> it kind of froze for a bit. <laughs> what were you going to say? They met, yeah, they he was talking with her for 8 months, right? And then went to Peru to visit her and then 4 days later he proposed. That's how in love he is. Mhm. He knew that was love is life in 4 days. And he speaks very good Spanish, too. Yes. But he also mentions how, like, well, I guess the same thing happened with me and my brother. Because he said the same thing when I proposed to you, when he proposed to you, that the delay Mm -hmm. was, like, unreal, right? Like, so, is that a yes? Like, he had to, like, (laughs) yeah, because I felt the same way, and I, I I didn't understand what was happening, but... Clay and went through the same thing. Like he said, he pulled out the ring, and she was just like, "Sure." <laughs> well, it was shocking to her, obviously, and especially after four days. I don't know. She probably shit. really was not expecting it. Exactly. Since they know. Bye bye. Shit. <laughs> it wasn't like that. No. It's just a shocking moment. You just don't know what it's to do. It's a happy shocking You've moment. Heard- you forget about the oh yeah. You feel like course. you blow out of your body kind of moment. Yeah, like, it's shit mm-hmm. that you see on TV for years and years and years. Like, am I really here? And it's finally happening. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like I am at this point in my life. Like, it's and nothing beautiful. that any man will ever give you will be better than television. I get it. I get it. I get it. No, I was comparing it to what? television, baby. Oh, I'm so confused. I don't understand. I was saying it's such as good as television that I never thought I would be there in that point. Because it's like so surreal, like a dream. Yes. And so you don't even know if you want it or not. Jesse, shut the no, fuck up. No, it's a dream. You want it. it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so we're at Clayton's house. His mom is like not a full on hoarder, but a hoarder, and it's really sad. How sad is no. this? Huh? Like she's full on hoarder. Oh my god! You know what this was giving sure. premonitions of though? Huh? When I was watching it, it's so much like you, baby. What? Like keeping your flower seeds and. All your bullshit that we have, like all our. Bye bye. Our house is bye bye. We like, do not stacked, have this much crap. Like from the floor to the ceiling. You know what I'm talking Look about? Look at your background. It's not like that. Yeah, That's who's all doing roof. this? That's the roof. That's because That's the... I cleaned this up. No, he didn't. He is so embarrassing me. Stop. I'm not. I make you clean up and organize. Don't make me make this you sleep morning, on the couch for a fucking week. Morning. I'm gonna make him sleep on the couch up, for a I week. I woke up and Marley's like, I really want to donate my jackets, but I think they might wear them in the next ten years. No, I That's did not say said. that. I did I'm not like, say that. Uh, I Dustin was oh, telling me like a few years. I literally said I don't want to donate my jackets because I know we live in San Diego, but we travel a lot to cold places. That so I feel t- that. Shit. Not fucking 10 years. I hate you. I hate you. I'm going to murder this guy. She's fucking next podcast is this fucking morning. murder podcast. It's fuck not. This, guy. this morning she fuck, said. Shut the fuck up. We're done. We're talking about 90 Day. We're not talking about us. We're talking about this mom being a hoarder. You're talking about my jackets. That are in the most organized <laughs> fucking closet I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna kill you. She's like in 2029, we might be. <laughs> Sorry. 
She muted the mic. I'll meet your ass. I'll meet your ass. Marley... No, no. Talk about the show. Okay, I'll meet Marley your ass. is not like Clan's mom. But she might Obviously. be cold in 10 years. That's a girl thing, though. We like to say, like, I feel you, Marley. Uh, Jesse is so dramatic, and I would fucking kill him if it wasn't illegal. <laughs> it was Wait, don't say that, because what happens if he turns up dead? Well, then you know who did it. Hey. <laughs> I don't oh, care. On YouTube, you know who so. damn well who fucking did it, because I would. Oh, my God. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck your fucking mama and everyone. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hoarder. Uh, You're the hoarder. <laughs> Get out of here, hoarder ass. <clears throat> No, his mom is a super hoarder, though. She kept boxes that were, like, just, like, cookie boxes or something that had nothing in there. That's so funny, And then Erica. let's look at this. That's the one that I noticed, too. Her empty cookie tin from Christmas. Yes! <laughs> what? what? Like court collection. He's like, what Who collection do you have now? And he, he was like, all your useless collections I'm bringing to storage. And this is one hour later when he's like, we're going to no. storage. She did not warn him about her storage no, no, either, which is even more fucked like, up. I'm going to take it to your storage. We'll put it in there. And this is what he gets. This is it. Oh my, look at that. How do they even... Oh. She's never moving out. <laughs> no. Okay. That's my point. She I thought never. she was actually genuine about moving out until I saw this scene too, She's Erica. She's never moving it's out. It's not happening. No. Yeah. I, I kind of like want to know, like, did she have a house before? What happened? What's her backstory? Why is this all here? I'm she has so more backstory. I'm I think so much more interested in her than him. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. They live in Kentucky. Please. Let's look up where he lives, how much a fucking apartment is or something. I bet easily 500 a month, not no, even. It's not like that these days, no matter but where. 500. Yeah, that, in Kentucky, where they yeah. live in the middle of nowhere. Yes, bye bye. I Googled it, and cybersecurity analyst salary is $74,000 average? average. That's pretty That's, decent. You can not, live very no, well off here, actually, with that fucking you salary. Can, you can, San Diego. Yeah, you can. It's, no. it's, it gets tough. No, you can't. If you had a fucking studio apartment or one bedroom, she had. Uh, by yourself, a lonely, desolate, depressing life, for sure you can make, make do. You just can't go out. Or do anything. Or, or, anything. or fall in love. Or show affection. Uh, I don't know. Or <laughs> Not in San Diego. No. No, you can't. What? I don't know. There's some bad areas, but I it seems like all of San Diego though doesn't even matter where you go. It's pretty expensive. I mean, I think it's we... like voted one of the highest. Wait, like, I was just right? Say, I we guess talked about the last past, week. Like, Number one the, no, most expensive ago. city in the entire country. Okay, it's yeah. not getting it's any better shit over here. But yeah, yeah, it sounds like a doctor's salary, right? No. In San yeah. Diego, it is nothing. Nothing. It's you so need to get a second job. <laughs> yes. It's so <laughs> shit, dude. Well, but in Kentucky, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure it might be like maybe, middle, middle but age or so something. So far, his mama does not have a lot of space in her storage unit. Anal is coming to town and he doesn't have many options. It's so funny in this conversation. He's like, yeah, I think he'll be okay. But you can see him like sweating. <laughs> like it's not going to be, gonna be okay. enough space. It's like, I'm, I'm fucking trying. I'm, I'm trying so hard right now. Okay. Can we guess what kind of game that he played for his whole yeah, life? Oh, World of okay. Warcraft? 20,000 nope. hours? No, World of Warcraft. Nope, what do you think? It's not. It's not. Because I saw screenshots of when he was playing. And it was an isometric third person top down game. There's like it was very Diablo like, and I I know it's not Dota two. Dota two is a first person shooter. Diablo, it is not that world building. Warcraft is way more third person and not an isometric. And isometric means like I know, but what about the weird? Okay, I what is know. the game that you think it is? I we we I couldn't come up with anything. Runescape. Too old. Too old, but also too old. He played 
twenty thousand hours though. He said it's like something that he played when he was like thirteen or some shit. Too right? old, and I don't think the the updates and the fidelity has been as coherent as I saw the screenshot of. Mm. It was a top down weird like is it isometric view. third person. Do you think it's League of Legends? Like, it's like, League of Legends. Yeah, that's what, that was. I'm not familiar with the game, but that was one of my guesses. But I was shut down. I do it. I don't know. I don't know the game. Me neither. I was just guessing. I'm not sure. Because he's, he's a true gamer. Wait, 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 wait. I'll play. What is Clayton 90 Day playing? Okay, I'll play after this because this okay. part is cute because they live in Kentucky and the vet people know his guinea pigs. Yeah, I'm oh, Clayton. Is that baby pig and yeah, chocolate? I'm here with baby pig and chocolate. That's when we find out he takes his guinea pigs every six months to the vet. Like the way that For he. Yeah. Can we talk about like um, the way that he talks about his pets is because like we were saying, unfortunately, our grandmother or our mother-in-law and your biological mother does the same thing to our animals. Right? Yes. They're <laughs> hungry. They need to be fed. But it's just grandma love. They, You know, grandmas do that with kids too. Yes. And then we also find out that his girlfriend Bless. loves guinea pig. Oh, the squeezy. Eating. Guinea pigs yeah, I think you got that guinea wrong. Pig. Huh? She doesn't love guinea pigs. She loves the flavor. That's what I mean. They eat them. Yeah. They love it. Okay. Okay. You did. My fiance has eaten a guinea pig and she says it's delicious. I'm trying. To mm -mm. If that wasn't a red flag, I don't know why he still kept talking to her after that. That's kind of I sad. would eat a guinea pig. What? I mean, uh, did I mean, you see them? I feel the like way it... that they communicate with their squeaks, and you sing like they all have different emotions with the squeaks, like they know how to communicate. So obviously, you never owned an actual pig. I don't Baby, eat any I know. Pig. My friend Katie actually and Humo had a pig. They're very the same way. That's Marley's favorite food. No, it's not. Only for breakfast. Bye bye. I was vegetarian. I was vegetarian for fucking six years of my Make life. Make your arguments you want. I'm telling you these animals. The only are thing that I like to eat is bacon. But Jesse and I have fucking meals with no meat all the time. So don't even fuck. fuck with me. When in Rome, Marley knows. No. I will do as the Romans do. Whatever it is, I'm going to consume it. I don't care. Even guinea pigs. A hundred percent. They're like no mini Zeldas. You're gonna There's eat a no mini going Zelda. back after that. If it's yeah, not, what exactly? If it, that's if a mini not, Zelda. They have so many emotions. If it's not die. Zelda herself, what? Well, then yes, I'll probably eat it. If it's Samus. Oh, oh Sam, what about Samus? Samus could be herself. I don't give a fuck. I'll eat her. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> We're gonna get canceled. I hope for so. animal. I hope so. Bowl up a teeth. He will because they're fucking. I'm a what? Killer. A human that no, eats meat. No, you're a terrible person. That should go to hell. Not cats and dogs and guinea pigs. Those He's are going excluded. to hell. I casted him to hell. Wolves, fox, tiger. Shit. Just anything. You're a carnivore. What, what do people love the most? Not you. I will <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Anyways, his cool friend Cameron, spelled with the K. He's known for 13 Wait. years. Met on online games. How fucking cute. Yeah, so right before I watched this episode, I was watching a bunch of episodes of Catfish. I was like, man, how cool would it be if we created a show where we connected gaming friends? So they meet in person for the first time and everybody could view that friendship build. That would be really interesting. This guy seems like he had a good head on his shoulder. Whoa, Dustin walking in the background. I thought it was our background. So I was like, is there a ghost? It freaked you out? Like, yes, who's I there? Behind. I was like, whose shorts are those? <laughs> Anyways, camera with the K is really cute. They know each other for a really long time. He seems like he like tells them how it is in the cutest way. Like, you know, we should get to know your girlfriend. It's kind of sketch that your dad doesn't know about you. We find out that Anne and Anna Lee 
hasn't told her dad that they exist, but Annalise's dad is obsessed with her. Do you think like they have a weird like love relationship? Wait, what? Kind of, since Who? he calls her 20 times a day. Oh, Thank you, Erica. Oh. I was about to oh, say, like, oh. I hate to be that person, but at the same time, like, do you think, like, maybe her dad is, like, kind of weirdly, like, sexually obsessed with her in a weird no, way? No, 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 I don't think it is a father-daughter weird thing like that. I think that she's lying, and actually her dad is actually her boyfriend, and it's not her dad at all. Whoa. That would be something Whoa. pretty deep. Well, yeah, for calling her 20 times a day, that's definitely more than a dad does. Doesn't no. matter how protective yeah, they are. Yeah, I was going to say, no father is going to have that kind of exception. Not, a, not at this age. or No, 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 no. I don't think that first theory is right. I think that it might be her fiancé, husband, or boyfriend. I would have to say, after seeing this, I thought Clayton was going to be the weird guy. Clayton is so... People who take care of the Number animals, one of the episode... I mean, number one of the mm -hmm. season. Number one season. Yeah, I was about right. to say, people who take care of their animals like that or just, like, have that kind of understanding for Connection. things. Yeah, nonverbal, like, things that they I can... just don't think he understands harm. Like, he doesn't know how to hurt. Well, I just mean, like, people like you that. Know what I mean, like, it's not going to be in his wheelhouse to, like, be He's mean a lover. Or, He's a lover. or, like, harmful to another mammal okay and his friend <laughs> straight up tells him like you his friend is super supportive too he doesn't say you're not doing wrong well, you're not well, doing well, right a big you're not doing talk. wrong you're not doing right his friend just basically says like this is your future i hope you know what you're doing which is you just know what you're getting in for just like every friend has ever said on 90 day history shut up they, they say the same thing okay all right omg let's talk Thank you. That was Annalie and Clayton. Clayton. And Clayton Mama's name is Violet. We're pretty sure she's a hoarder. So please reach out to her and ask for help. <laughs> Definitely. Right, or put her on hoarders. Right. Yes, we need to put her on hoarders because I feel bad for Clayton. He's a great son. He takes care of his guinea pigs, Mama. It's all on the same network, TLC. Get on the next show. OMG, let's talk. Quarters.